The unthinkable happened on Saturday when the men's basketball team was eliminated from the NCAA tournament with a second round loss to Northern Iowa. The Missouri Valley Conference champions and the number nine seed in the Midwest region knocked off the overall number one seed in the tournament 69 to 67. KU's only lead in the game was 2-0 after Cole Aldrich made the first basket. Northern Iowa then went on a 10-0 run and never looked back. Aldrich finished the game with his 27th career double-double, while Sharon Collins scored only 10 points on 4 of 15 shooting in his final collegiate game. Afterward, it was difficult to see the winningest player in Jayhawk history go out so defeated. I like my little brothers. I like my little brothers. And it's just, you know, it's it for me. And I, I just want to be around them as long as I could and have fun playing basketball with them. They all know I love them regardless of what happened through my years here, fights, arguments, dis disagreements. They're like family, that's what we go with. We pride ourselves on family. We huddle up every day and say family, this is my family. And I love them. You know, the, the thing that I've really enjoyed uh, coaching these guys is because they hurt for each other more than they hurt for themselves. And, and, and their joy is as much for the next guy as much as it is for themselves. And so they do hurt for Sharon. I mean, he's, a, he's been an unbelievable competitor for our program and, and the face of our program the last couple of years and, 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 and been an unbelievable extension of me. And uh, yeah, I can't talk to him right now because I don't know what to tell him. But, but I, I do know that, that even though this is Hurst not going to go away, but he'll look back in a month or two and, and realize that the legacy that he's left at this, on this place. Kansas finishes the year with a 33-3 record and will have to watch the final four rounds of the tournament from home. In what is becoming a disturbing trend, the women's basketball season will continue longer than the men's for the second straight year. The Jayhawks successfully knocked off the Creighton Lady Jays in Allen Fieldhouse on Sunday, 71-68. They were led yet again by freshman sensation Carolyn Davis, who posted her sixth double-double of the year with 25 points and 12 rebounds. Shade Morris was the second leading scorer with 14. The Jayhawks are now one of the last 16 teams remaining and will play on Thursday against Illinois State in Normal, Illinois. The baseball team had a tougher spring break than most. Prior to the break, the team took two out of three games from the number one team in the country and the defending national champion LSU Tigers. However, they only had one day to celebrate before beginning a two-game series against Tulane. After getting shut out in the first contest, the team fell again the next day by a count of 5-3. to three. They then traveled to St. Louis for a doubleheader on Saturday, dropping both of those games to the Billikens. The baseball team is now 11-8 on the season and will play Creighton tomorrow at Hoagland Ballpark at 6 p.m. While winter weather returned to the area over the weekend, the softball team was out in sunny California for their final non-conference tournament of the year. The team not only enjoyed the constant 71-degree sunshine, they also enjoyed a 3-3 record, including a 5-4 extra inning victory to conclude the tournament against the host school, San Diego. The squad is now 14-15 on the year and will open Big 12 play next weekend with two games at 